Good morning. Today is December 15th. Man, we're midway through this month already. Oh my goodness. That's, am that's amazing. Uh, it is 5.22 in the morning. Thanks a lot for checking me out. Getting some energy in the morning. Checking on old Jesse here. I'm still here, still kicking, still sweating. Got the good sweat going on. Uh, and because I'm running my, my path up into the dragon head, then at this point I'm at 1.2 miles right now on my last lap, so she's good. Pick that new target and keep going. And inadvertently I've added about a quarter mile more to my morning workout. So that's been good. I'll tell you a story. It was Monday morning and my computer is starting to glitch again. And glitch, I don't mean that, you know, it's like the major kind of glitch. Glitching as I mean, if I'm playing a game, like all the artifacts, all the ships, all the people in my game, they start turning into triangle polygons. And after I close the game, uh, there's all these purple and green digital spots remaining on my desktop. And so, I figure this has been about two weeks now. I initially thought it was a, a virus, but now I'm into the conclusion that it might be my graphics card, but I'm gonna have to take it to the computer shop to get it fixed because as much as I've tried to resolve this issue, uh, I can't do it, I just can't do it. So anyway, um, before I do that, I start taking out some parts that I've added to the computer over the months like a piece of RAM and some cable extensions and I bring the computer right back to its stock stock uh, configuration when I bought it initially so I boot it up same thing card still still scratching still tearing the screen and it's not just on one monitor it's on multiple monitors and so that's how I know that it's not the monitor it's most likely the card so I asked my wife I said hey I need your help because we need to carry this desktop PC uh, to the computer shop. Uh, can you help me jump on my bike and uh, carry it, hold it while, while I'm driving to the, the computer shop? And she's like, okay, yeah, when are we leaving? I said, oh, give me about, about 30 more minutes. I can get ready. I can put this thing into the box and everything and then we'll get going she's like, okay so we pack everything up and this thing weighs about 15 pounds 20 pounds and it by far is the second most expensive thing that i own first being my wife <laughs> my wife is probably the most precious thing that i own well i don't own her but you know what i mean um and second is my pc you know so we're carrying it down, take it to the elevator. We jump on the bike. She puts it on top of her knee um, and I'm in the front. I'm kind of sort of sitting on the bike, not like a Harley Davidson, exact opposite. What do you think a, Harley, a cool Harley Davidson driver would be riding like? Like instead of like this, I'm, I'm like this, the bars right next to me and uh, my crotch basically touch, touching the front panel. And uh, she's behind me holding the box in between us like a irritating uh, nephew that we have that's uh, overeaten and he's sitting in between us now and that's the only space we have left on our bike so she's he's hold, she's holding the, the computer and we're driving through traffic and like if if we got into an accident you know this would have been the worst day of my life first i've lost the most important thing to me in my life and secondly <laughs> my wife got hurt i mean sorry i got that switched up <laughs> um so we're, we're weaving through traffic and we don't have a car so you should understand that we don't if you're watching this and you're saying, why don't you just take a car? We don't have a car here. And we do have taxis, but the taxi service um, is fairly expensive for the place that we want to go. And this kind of things just is, is normal place for us to carry heavy things on a, um, a motorbike. And this is not the first heavy thing that we've carried. So anyway, we're, we're driving through. It's about a 30 minute drive to get to our uh, PC place. And we pull up to the PC shop and look up. It's the first time I've been here because actually when I ordered my PC, I've ordered this online. I've ordered this from this place, but because we were in 
uh, lockdown, um, I wasn't able to be in person to check out the machine, to you know go over the specs like that, to see it in person. So this is the first time since I bought this computer that I'm actually showing up the spot. I'm like, okay, this looks pretty legit, you know? Sometimes you're buying stuff online and you're not sure, is it legit or is it, le or is it not? So meanwhile, my, my, my wife's still ho holding the, the PC and then, so I put my arm around and I hold that PC as tight as I can so she can get off the bike. So she gets off the bike and then one of the employees runs out of the shop and he comes and he grabs the PC for us and he takes it inside for us. <sighs> Very nice of him. Too bad he couldn't show up to my house. But anyway, we get inside and uh, the guy asked me, how can I help you? And I said, I think my graphics card is broken. He said, okay, let's, let's go up to level one. And the time is about, I want to say about 10.30 now. It's been about a little over half an hour since we've left the house. And um, it's been a little bit half an hour since my wife said, yeah, let's just get up and go. So we go upstairs and I message her, hey, you can come up here too, to sit down on this couch while I uh, talk to the boys and figure out what's wrong with my PC. And they take out the card. Sorry, they turn on my PC, ask for my password, turn my PC on, um, and they run a test. And sure enough, the graphics card is not working properly. So to troubleshoot a little bit more, they take out my graphics card like an organ donor, and they put it into another PC that they're currently working on. And because of me, reasoning is if it works, if it doesn't work on another PC, it's the card for sure. But if it does work, then that means something's wrong with my PC. So the organ transplant my my card into another PC. They turn on that old, the, the other PC, and um, yeah, sure enough, run the test, and the card's still broken. So they call up they call up the the managers. He comes upstairs, and they kind of huddle. They kind of huddle around each other, and uh, you, you know it's kind of like a team of. Uh, doctors and nurses you know technicians have just finished assessing what the problem is on my computer and now the doctor comes in and he's he's, he's telling me he's telling them uh getting the the lowdown asking if they if they concur i concur and uh so so the manager looks at me and then he kind of does that slow walk you know like in the movies where uh the, the doctors really got really bad news and i can kind of sense it he doesn't have to say it, but i can kind of see it in his eyes like it's going to be bad news <laughs> so he kind of walked it over to me i'm like oh crap this is going to be bad and uh so he comes up to me and says so, so so jesse uh sorry to tell you that your your graphics card is dead like it's not your fault it's not something you did or it's not uh it's it's basically on the manufacturer side and so uh well, we're sorry to tell you that this 400 dollar graphics card is now worthless and so that kind of hit a little bit hard and um so i said well okay well, what, what's our options then what's our options and um thankfully he said well this this computer has still got warranty because you just purchased it in august and since you built the whole entire pc with us then you've still got a warranty on this card so any damages to it um on the manufacturer's end is covered so so my my heart gets like oh okay thank you it's like my goodness uh i was really hoping that i had some kind of uh, insurance or some kind of warranty on this second most important thing in my life um but now i do and doctor has just reaffirmed me that i do have some kind of insurance on it so so i'm, I'm feeling elated and i said okay can we can we just swap, swap one a new one out um same model same everything and he says that's the problem so the problem is because there's such a graphic chip shortage in the world, not just for computers, but for cars and for everything across the board, there's a massive global chip shortage. Um, graphics cards are not in stock. And unfortunately to tell you that we don't have this exact card in stock, nor do we have anything comparable to it. And I'm like, oh no. So he says, we, we've got two options. Um, we can one, we can send you home with a loaner. So it's gonna be a lower grade quality tier card, um, but uh, you can take that home and you can use it until we can get this uh, card fixed. We're gonna send it back to the manufacturer and they have to assess it and they have to replace it. Hopefully, you know, um, giving you, if, if not giving you a new one, then re replacing or uh, refixing this, this graphics card of yours. So I said, what's the time frame on that? Because I really need my, my graphics card in order to do the kind of work that I'm doing 
um, not only video editing but even teaching and I use a lot of things to, to teach on my computer so I need a fairly beefy graphics card and he says well that's the thing is I can't tell you how long it's gonna be until um, you get your graphics card your, your, your replacement back he says it could be at least at least a few weeks <laughs> oh no I can't do that In my head can't do that so I said okay um, hey doctor can we what if I buy a better tier card now and can you de deduct the difference of my old card that I purchased back in August and he thought about it he says okay yeah we could do that and so he brings in the he says oh, hold on let me, let me go find the, the old card so he walks out and all the technicians by this time it's about 12 30 now and all the technicians are outside and they're they're um they've, they've gone for lunch and take a rest for lunchtime so meanwhile it's just me and my wife are here, over here the most important thing that's uh, in my life sitting next to me and I, I can see her she's watching like this Gilead graduation video and she's also texting at the same time and I asked oh like, who, who are you who are you texting uh, she's oh I'm texting one of my, one of my good good girlfriends we, we had plans uh, today that we had made plans last week for for this morning and I looked at her I'm like wait what like, yeah 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 we, we, we made plans to go out and stuff but I, I canceled it because you know uh, to come come and help you <sighs> and I said wait what you're, you're only telling me that now I said yeah that's, that's fine and, 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 and in that moment it just really like shocked me and like here, here I was you know like on a drop of a dime I say hey can we go out I need I need to get this fixed can you help me and she, she says, yep. She says, yes, no problem. Let's go half an hour. I'll be ready out the door. And here she is sitting with me. It's about an hour and a half later now. And she, we're still still on this couch. And she already had plans to go out with people. She already had plans and she didn't tell me. And that's the thing that just really like rocked my world and realized why this is the most important thing in my life. It's because if it was me, and if that was in my case and she had the roles were reversed and said hey jesse i need some help can you help me i would have still helped her 100 percent, i would have but here's a here's a here's the thing is that i would have made known the pain it's taking me in order to allow myself to come and help you you know i i, I personally i would have voiced that i would have said hey yeah i'll, I'll help you but man I've, I've, I made these arrangements with these boys to go out for coffee. Oh, I guess I got to cancel it. You know, like vocalizing that. So the other party knows that this is the, the this is, these are the balls that I'm having to juggle because of you throwing this monkey wrench into my plans now. And my wife said, and I asked for help. Okay, let's go. I'll be ready. And here she is an hour and a half sitting on this couch and she just, readjusting her day on a whim just because of me and that made me think to myself you know what <laughs> I, you are a better person than i am in all honesty in all honesty my, my wife is a better person than i am and sometimes i wish that i could be more like her in a lot of things and so yeah the whole process took about two hours and a half and she didn't complain once not one single peep she was just fine as can be watching her gilly graduation and texting her friends and um the rest of the day she, she just juggled everything without me knowing and not without me having to worry about man i'm altering my wife's day because of my needs and my my plans and so i hope i can you know continue to be sorry for this long video but i hope i can really be more like that and shout out to my wife for teaching me a silent lesson that that is definitely a lesson in my life without words that I have the most and that the best important thing in my life and as a side note my computer got fixed but we had to pay for the transplant <laughs> all right love you guys thank you guys very much um, let me let me know what you thought about that story and um, yeah, it's, it's one of those big life lessons that makes me really appreciate who's, the, who's my other half in my life. And I thought I'd like to share that with you guys.
Okay, that's the end of this video. It's the longest, probably the longest video I've said in this, in this whole uh, YouTube channel so far. But uh, love you guys. Keep it up. Self-discipline, name of the game. And uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Aloha. Take care.